China plans to develop a non-stop high-speed rail, no need to stop after arriving at the station, and passengers can get on and off easily. In this regard, American experts said that it is impossible and China is bragging. So how exactly does China plan to develop this high-speed rail? Let's take a closer look in this video. Current status of high-speed rail stops. High-speed rail is a business card of China. Although the maximum operating speed has reached 350 km per hour due to China's vast territory, the time spent on high-speed rail is still too long for some people. The main reason is that although the high-speed rail is fast, it must stop at the station. Regardless of the short stop time of the high-speed rail, it is calculated as 10 minutes. If the high-speed rail is running, it can travel 60 kilometers, and this does not include the deceleration when the high-speed rail enters the station and the speed-up process when it exits the station. And this is only the time wasted at a station. There are many stations on every line, especially some small stations have not many passengers, but they also need to stop to get on and off passengers. The time cost required is very high, and the time of passengers is lost without knowing it. Therefore, if the high-speed rail does not stop, the running time of the entire line may be cut in half. For example, the G72 high-speed train is a train from Beijing to Shenzhen. It has to pass through 14 stations on the road. Depending on the size of the station and the density of people, the stop time of each station varies from 5 to 10 minutes. The total time for the G72 to stop is 125 minutes, which does not include the time for the train to decelerate and accelerate before and after the station. If these stop times and the time for deceleration and acceleration can be saved, the speed of the high-speed rail will be further accelerated, and it is not impossible to even reach the speed of an airplane. Can non-stop high-speed rail be realized technically? Some people pointed out that if you take the high-speed rail from the starting station to the terminal station, the stopover time is too much. If the stops are cancelled, the speed of the high-speed rail will be faster. In consideration of this aspect, some experts suggested that a non-stop high-speed rail could be established. For this purpose, two schemes are planned. The first is to set up pods on top of the high-speed rail. When approaching the station, passengers have to go to the top of the high-speed rail and stand on the pod. Passengers who want to get on the high-speed rail should also stand on the pod in advance. And when the high-speed rail arrives at the corresponding position, the passengers can quickly transfer at the same time. It should be noted that the inbound pod and the outbound pod should be one on each side to avoid congestion and confusion. However, this method is also a great challenge to technology. First of all, the current high-speed rail is driven by electricity, and the transmission lines of high-speed rail trains are all above. If such a pod is set up above, it may cause mutual interference. Moreover, due to the large volume of high-speed rail transportation in China, especially during the spring festival travel period, the number of passengers getting on and off at some major stations is very large, which will cause the required pods to be very large. If the above scheme is to be put into production, every station on the high-speed rail route needs to be remodeled, which is time-consuming and labor-intensive. Therefore, Chinese scientists also proposed another alternative, that is, parallel transfers. This scheme refers to the transformation of the track from a one-way track to a two-way track when the high-speed rail is about to enter the station. Then there is a relatively short high-speed rail that accelerates quickly to reach a relatively static speed with the high-speed rail, which is convenient for connecting with the high-speed rail. 
After passengers complete the transfer in the two high-speed trains, the high-speed train at the station will slow down to a standstill and then let the passengers get off and transfer. This solution requires not only high-speed rail, but also trams and urban light rail as moving platforms. After receiving passengers, this moving platform needs to be in operation until the high-speed train passes. The moving platform needs to keep moving at the same speed as the high-speed rail on parallel tracks. We know that when two objects with the same speed are moving at the same speed in the same direction, they are relatively stationary. Therefore, when the tram and the high-speed rail are relatively stationary, the doors can be opened for docking, allowing passengers to get on and off the train to transfer. Then, the transferred tram detoured back and sent the passengers to the designated place. This design seems reasonable, but there are many problems. The first is the speed problem. The speed of the connecting tram is generally not fast on the high-speed railway. Only when the high-speed railway decelerates can it be connected. In this case, it is meaningless to transfer. Moreover, the time during the transfer process must be relatively short. If passengers do not get on and off in time, it will cause trouble for them. There is also a shuttle bus running, what if the operation fails? If there is also a connecting tram, the whole system will become very complicated and unreliable. Although these two ideas are perfect and both can achieve the purpose of reducing the energy consumption of high-speed rail and increasing the speed of high-speed rail, they are too ideal and there are difficulties in practice. Other difficulties of high-speed rail arriving at stations without stopping. Although the above two high-speed rail transfer methods do not slow down the high-speed rail, they both require the high-speed rail to run at a speed of at least 250 km per hour, but this is the biggest difficulty. Even if the high-speed rail is to reach this speed, it must be accelerated by 40 km to complete, so the extension of the transfer track must be at least 40 km long. Calculated based on the fact that the distance between stations in China is only about 120 km, the total length of the construction of the transfer track will reach one-third of the total length of China's high-speed rail, which is an extremely huge process. According to the high-speed rail data released by the Ministry of Communications of China, the total length of China's high-speed rail is about 37,900 kilometers, and the cost of high-speed rail per kilometer is 150 million yuan. That is to say, if the high-speed train arrives at the station without stopping, it needs at least 1.89 trillion yuan of investment. In addition to the huge investment, we also need to consider special circumstances. That is, if there are too many passengers getting off at a station, what should I do if there is no room for one transfer cabin? In other words, if an accident occurs during the transfer process, how can we protect passengers from harm under the high-speed operation of the high-speed rail? Therefore, non-stop high-speed rail is a good idea, but it is too difficult to implement, and it is still difficult to put it into production. Conclusion The original intention of the construction of non-stop high-speed rail is to reduce the energy consumption of high-speed rail and further accelerate the speed of high-speed rail. The starting point is very good. Although it is not technically possible at present, we believe that in the near future, with the advancement of technology and the overcoming of difficulties, this kind of non-stop high-speed rail transfer in China will definitely be possible. At that time, people's travel will be more convenient and efficient. What do you want to say about the two options for the high-speed rail to arrive at the station without stopping? Other than that, do you have any suggestions? 
Welcome to leave a message to discuss in the comment area. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.